Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're at Exodus 32, verse 29. Uh, there's been a, a rebellion, an outbreak of idolatry. God has uh, sent Moses. Moses has clean, cleaned it up. Uh, there's been uh, thousands killed as the idolaters were root, rooted out. And now we come to verse 29. So this is right after that. Here we go. Then Moses said, Dedicate yourselves today to the Lord, for every man has been against his son and against his brother, in order that he may bestow a blessing upon you today. So after this tragedy of uh, the, idol the rebels who refused to break away from the idolatry and, and thousands of them are killed, now he says, okay, dedicate yourself to the Lord. You've had to do this uh, thing that none of us like to do. God doesn't like to do it. Killing is a, he says, it's his strange work. It's not God's preferred approach. But there does come times like this when you have to do it. Uh, there's a time when, you know, a surgeon maybe has to amputate a limb because otherwise the whole person will die. Uh, so this is not, you know, without precedent here and there. So here we have, uh, okay, we need to come together. And Moses is pulling, trying to pull everybody back together. Very simply here, I think what's going on is these people had to conduct a very hard work. The Levites proved themselves faithful, but yes, it, it, they had to kill people they, they perhaps loved and uh, didn't have any plan, didn't desire to, to, to address that. But, uh, but it was, they did it. They were faithful. They were faithful in a time when they needed, God needed faithful people. And so now it's just a matter of uh, backing up, taking a break, recognizing that we did what God wanted. We did the right thing. We did what was morally right. And now we're going to dedicate ourselves to the Lord, and God will now give a blessing that comes. There's a blessing that comes from, from being faithful, from faithfulness to God. There's a blessing. Uh, it sounds to us in our world today where, you know, every which thing you want to do, just do it. Uh, to us, this sounds perhaps harsh, you know, it grates on the ears. It seems strange, but not so in other times. We just happen to live in, in a time when civilization is being uh, demolished and uh, uh, they're bringing in all these crazy values. So yeah, what we have here is a picture of people who, uh, to their credit, praise the Lord, they've been faithful, they've done a hard thing, a thing that, that none of them really wanted to do, and now God wants them to, to take, a, take a moment and regather themselves and recognize that, you know, faithfulness to God really matters. And I don't think this has changed. I agree with what they did today. Uh, faithfulness to God really matters. Today, there are people out there, they're looking for a church. They're looking for a people who will be faithful to God no matter what. They're not looking for a church that's, you know, like the churches are in some kind of a contest, like uh, which, which denomination can compromise the most with the world. How, how, is, this, is this what's going on, you know? Hey, people come church shopping. Hi, we're interested in possibly uh, finding out more about your church and your people. What do you do? Oh, well, we, we kind of do what the world does. Well, what do you mean? Oh, well, we have, look at, I see you have flags, these unusual new flags with the rainbow colors on them. And I see you allow this and you allow this and you allow this, these things which were considered just 30 years ago, they were considered totally immoral. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do now. We've changed. Well, guess what? If you've changed away from the word of God, then you're off, you're off track. And so people today are not looking to see uh, well, you know, hey, honey, we've we've checked out six different uh, church groups here. This group compromised this way. This group compromised this way. These guys compromised this way. I guess let's just pick this one. That's not what people are up to. They're not in for that. People want to be faithful and true to God. They want to be true to the Lord Jesus Christ. They want to be true and follow the word of God. And so that's what people are looking for today. Uh, the people who aren't looking for that are looking for sin and live. If you're looking for uh, no Jesus, it's not going to be sin and live. So friends, let's let's seek to be faithful. And the example we have here is a, is a harsh one in Exodus 32. And yet it's harsh to our ears. But let's seek to be faithful to the Lord Jesus. And you know what? He'll take care of the rest. Uh, my my uh, hat goes off to those who are doing all in their power to be faithful to the Lord God. God bless them and God bless you today. And let's come back tomorrow morning and carry on with this story. Thank you.